Hello, my roses. My name is Rosie, and I am Budgeting Rose. I'm in my 30s, single, and focused on getting rid of all my debt. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get to it. So this is my best and worst purchases of purchases of 2019. Let me start with the worst since it was a smaller list. I bought this eyelash curler because I was just like, you know, I'm starting to get into makeup. Let me, you know, so I can curl my eyelashes because uh, it looks cute. And so I can use it. It's not defective or anything. It's just, it just feels weird doing it. It feels like scissors and like you know because you hold the the hand part like like scissors and then i put it to my eye and i don't know it feels weird so i don't really use it and it's i i didn't it wasn't a good purchase for me the second purchase that was my worst i listened to a blogger and she gave advice on like you know with dark skin you know yes i know you didn't notice but yes i am dark skinned and so uh she gave advice i'm like okay so you want I was looking for something like a lipstick that was clear. So she said for dark skin, she recommended this one, the semi matte nude pink brown lipstick and another one that I put actually on my best list. And so I got this one and it was so pink. Like, yes, I understand it said nude pink, but no, no, it was, um, it was hugely bright on me and it looked not good at all. So that was part of my worst list. Thank goodness we're done with that list. Ooh, I moved the camera. All right, so let's go on to my best list. First, first thing that I absolutely love that I got was Financial Peace University, right? You're like, what's well, Financial Peace University? So my sister learned about Dave Ramsey and his baby steps to get rid of debt. And we went through the classes. So that's through Financial Peace University. And it was just the best purchase because now I have a plan to get rid of my debt and there's a end in sight, which is amazing. The next thing that is part of my best purchases of 2020, 2019 is my pill organizer. Yes, I take medication, I take supplements. So yeah, I could just take it from the bottle, but then the days just melt into each other and I never, did I take it today? Did I, did I take it yesterday? So this pill organizer just makes it easier to see it. Listen, it's 2020, we're all about getting our health right. And part of that is taking your medication on the right schedule. Uh, my wigs, uh, best purchase ever. Um, I love them. So no explanation needed there. I actually got a lighting kit and I, I did light this um, particular um, YouTube video I'm doing right now. So I'm super excited about that. I have a soft box. I have the umbrella one and a few other things I can, I'm going to try, you know, and mess around with, but I'm super, super excited about that. And it's going to help with just making my videos, you know, a little bit classier so you guys can enjoy them better. So I did this for you guys. I got four cat carriers for my four cats. And the best part about this is that the um the cat carriers are like in a triangle form and they're big and so everywhere we go it just strikes up a conversation because people are just like oh my god your pet carrier is so cute like where'd you get this where'd you get it oh do you like it because it looks so good so it's always a conversation starter and the best part is i feel that my cats are comfortable in it and that's what matters to me my socks are the on the best list because you know like i told you guys before uh all my socks had holes in them and you know 2020 we're not about socks with holes in them so good good great purchase and they're soft and i got them in gray like different shades of gray i'm all about gray right now as i'm wearing a pink oh you don't see it as i'm wearing a pink uh, sweater <laughs> anyway so I bought a hat so at home I get like cold and I just figured you know what I need a winter hat to use at home and so I got one and now I wear my hat all the time inside the house and I just feel warm already so it's a wonderful purchase I ha I like backpacks so I do have purses and 
but for me like I want to take a backpack to work I want to take a backpack everywhere because I can carry everything I need and so I was able to get this more professional looking backpack and I love it uh, it has the two handles so I can hold it you know like this oh you can see that <laughs> so um the two handles so I can hold it you know if I just want to hold it or it has the um, I can put it on my back which is amazing and then my hands are free for all the shenanigans I love 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 my electric facial scrub because yes I could just wash my face with my hands and fingers and so but with a facial scrub it you know it does that and um it just feels nice and I feel like you know it exploits my my face and all that so I just feel I'm getting a little extra spa day okay spar couple minutes when I'm using it uh, so love that I got a wireless mouse from my laptop uh, it's pink and white so it just adds a nice pop of color and it works to uh, my laptop and electronics so I definitely love that so this was the one I the the blogger recommended NYX butter gloss. I love love it. I am going to buy more. It just looks pretty on me. Oh, and if you can hear that, I think my cats are fighting and running down the stairs. So apologies. Um oh, my last purchase that I just enjoyed. So I've never cared for beef jerky, but because I never tasted it. So I had an opportunity to um, taste beef jerky with, it's a teriyaki one, and it was so good. So now I am team beef jerky all day. So I've tried the teriyaki. I haven't like expanded to try the other flavors. I just stick to the one I love and that's where we're staying for now. I might branch out a little bit later. So that was my best and worst purchases of 2020, 2019. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love, love to hear what your best and worst purchases were and why. So this is Budgeting Rose signing off and saying bye my roses. Bye. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.